Hi there, everybody, and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. It has been a while since I was actually playing this. So, <laughs> I totally forgot what the heck I was doing. Once I'm loaded up, I'll see what quest I have, and we'll see where the heck I am and what I was doing the last time. Though, the last time I was playing, my graphics were severely horrible by comparison to what they are now, because I was... I had a crappier video card. Only by age. I mean, the video card worked to let me play. But now I've got way more detail. So, that's a bonus. Hee hee. Ho ho. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay. Yeah, all right. Head to Novak to Nibton, find the men who tried to kill you. Talk to him about protecting the town. Okay, well, let's do that quest while we're here. I mean, it can't hurt. Hello again. I don't suppose you've decided to help Prim find its next sheriff? Sure I do, you depressed-looking prick. It should be someone brave like you, but more of a homebody. Someone who'll settle down and watch over us. I heard the powder gangers talking about someone in the prison named Myers who has some experience as a sheriff. He may be a good choice. Also, with the NCR so close by, you may be able to get them to take over the town. Not sure why they haven't helped out already. Because they simply just don't have the homebodies? I hope bring the law back to print. Well, that's just marvelous. I'll start thinking up questions for the interview. The sheriff that was incarcerated up at NCRCF may be a good choice. You also may be able to convince that NCR guy across the road to take the town under his wing. Although martial law doesn't sound so fun. Yeah, pretty much not. So, we're going to make a quick stop off at the prison. Oh, have I modded this gun? I gave it the laser pistol focus optics. Sweet. Whoops. I totally unequipped it, didn't I? Alright. So. Just over there. You can kind of see it. is the NCRCF, which is the prison. I am going to quickly head there. Should anything happen along the way, I will begin recording again. Meet you at the prison to find this sheriff. Death. Death. Death by lasers. <laughs> Gecko meat. Yum, 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 yum. And I have relearned the powder gangers hate my guts. I like my pistols, buddy. Gimme. And dynamite sells for a decent amount, too. Alright. Do I have the Sunset Sarsaparilla in my inventory set to a hotkey? I don't actually know if I do. Well, either way. So, just over this hill should be the prison. I totally forgot that I made the Powder Gangers to vilify me. But, sounds like an average playthrough that I do. Hola, senor. Mm. 
Nice and easy, thank you. Hey, uh, buddy. I don't like the fact that you're actually shooting me and hurting me. Causing me lots of issues. You stink. I'll take that, 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 that. Thank you, thank you. Thank you very much for that. It's, it's, it's lovely. I'll drink another one of those and I'll take a stim pack in the meantime. Oh, hi! How can I gain any more infamy with these guys? Seriously. They already hate my bloody guts. Hi! You're Ash. Hey, you. Yeah, that's right. You run away, boy. First. Maybe you ought to worry about the guys trying to kill you first. Maybe you ought to worry about the guys trying to kill you first. Um. Sure, think you can get out of that wall? Maybe you ought to worry about the guys trying to kill you first. Um, I could. Do I actually have? I do. Didn't know anyone would willingly walk into this place. Not unless they were looking for trouble. What's your story? I was a sheriff, believe it or not. For a small town far to the west of here. Short version is that sometimes justice is a little slow. And I helped speed it up one too many times. I'm not sorry for anything I did, but I will do the time. Fair enough trade if you ask me. I want you to be Prim's new sheriff. Assuming an NCR pardon comes with the job, and it had better. I also need to be able to do things my own way. Due process has its place. But sometimes it's just a waste of time. I'll need to know that I'm not going to end up right back in prison. You have a deal. All right, then. Guess I'll just make a quiet exit. No need for a goodbye party or anything. <laughs> All right. I know, I know, it was a little bit of a waste of a stealth boy, but... I've got to... Think you can hit me while I'm cloaked? Huh? Alright, let's get over this hill... I should be out of harm's way. I'm gonna let myself go back into hidden. I'm gonna teleport back to Prim. And then we'll make our way up to get the guy his pardon. So give me a minute. Okay, so apparently I'm still being chased. Well, I was when I teleported, so that was great. Or fast traveled. Eh, for all those that are a little bit uh, irritated when people do that. All right, so right up there is where we're going to be heading. But there's a couple places along the way that I want to stop off at. Simply because, well, squirrel. I'm scatterbrained, what can I say? But certain places I go to are better than others. And some of them help me with what I want later on. California Sunset Drive-In. Now, this place is fantastic. Because Sunset's Asperilla Star Bottle Cap. 
Star bottle cap. You can get yourself two star bottle caps there. Aside from the random ones you can get just from drinking Sunset Sarsaparilla. Speaking of, that was fantastic. <laughs> yeah, while playing this game, unless I actually have to heal a limb, I'm pretty much always going to be drinking Sunset Sarsaparilla. Saves me on stim packs. And, well, it can earn me some star bottle caps for a nice little prize later. Alright, so the main road leading out of Prim is where we... Oh, I, I do want to go up there, though. Because there is something up there I want. Um, what level am I? I'm only level 4. Educated. Yeah, I need to get to level 6 before I can read any skill books that are actually in my inventory. Okay, we got ghouls. What weapons do I currently possess? Hmm. We'll use you for the time being. I like that the weathered pistol is worn down to a sandpapered like version of the 10 mil pistol. It's nice and I enjoy it. You know what, pal? Okay, hang on a minute. Is my laser pistol actually stronger than my 10 mil? Doing 15 damage. 12 damage. No, it's not. Okay. I had to look. Uh, cowboy repeater rifle. How are you doing? 15. You know what? I'm going to enjoy that. Do I have any weapon repair kits? None right now. Fair enough. But let's waste some 10 mil ammo, shall we? Fully automatic weapons can be fun. And I don't know what I feel like for keeping it. Ghouls all over the place. They're irritating, I tells ya. The one thing that got me about New Vegas when they made it is that the enemies are placed. And they don't raise with your level. Fallout 3 was done so that if your level raised a little bit too high, you would be fighting enemies based on your level, not your equipment. Shit, I triggered the assholes. Too much, too much. Yeah, I died in vats. That's fantastic. I'll go get that skill book later, because I can't even... You know, I can't even read it properly. So let me get to the next building that I want to go to to showcase. And then I'll start record. Wait, where? Alright, I'm back before I fast traveled. Let me get to the building I want to go to. I ran into some buttholes... Not my fault you guys are just randomly hurt. What'd you guys do to yourself anyway? What did you f fight? But this building here is another nice one to go to. You got a couple raiders on the outside, a couple raiders on the inside. Easily, easy to take out. That's a nice greeting. So there's the one I was talking about on the outside. One of the two. There we go. Whoa, 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 lady, whoa. I'm getting a little cocky here.
Thanks, honey. I think I'm wearing lightweight leather armor anyway, so let's take a look-see. I was. <clears throat> eh. You know, it doesn't even sell for that much, so I'm just going to drop it to save the weight. I don't even know why I was keeping it. I know why I was keeping it. I was keeping it for a place later on when we got ourselves all the way up to uh, New Vegas, but I'm not going to bother. If you keep that one and you keep uh, the vault jumpsuit that you have on you, you can give it to a girl there and she gives you stuff. I'll, when I find her, I'll be able to show you, but right now let's just get this crap dealt with. Hi, honeys. How you doing? I, I like your dad. Oh. Somehow I'm missing? Well, that was rude. Hmm. Do I have a melee weapon on me? Oh. Right! These little guys you can actually step on and it kills them. It's absolutely fantastic. You also have submachine gun on you. I actually rather like that. So I can repair my submachine gun. Making it worth invariably more. Whoops. Um, there we are. And uh, you know what? I'm going to have you... set as my number three slot. So if I ever keep accidentally doing that, I can pop it back in there. So this is what I'm coming in here for. Guns and bullets. But there's also things to pick. Mantises to step on. First aids. This one's empty. Step. Easy deaths. I mean, easy kills. Easy experience. Little experience. We have a dead prospector. Who has some cards for using during caravan. And a sunset sarsaparilla star bottle cap. And we also have some Hydra. That is pretty much all that's in here. You want the skill book. To which, since I took... Uh, educated, it'll take me to level 6 before I can read any of those. Okay, I'm going to quickly drop a save. Because, if I'm not mistaken, just up the hill from here is a camping site. No, it's up the hill from that gas station there. That's right, I'm getting a little offside here. And I will show you yet another skill book. Yeah, Past Those Ghouls was one of the actual skill books, not magazines. I think it was for medicine. Well, after I get some slightly better armor... We will go up there and I will grab it because um, the skill books are very, very useful. For those of you who are not used to Fallout, they permanently boost your actual skill trees. And that's what you put points into every level. So they can actually make or break your game, but of above all else, they will help make it better. Die, Rad Scorpion. Reload. Well, that's in the freaking body, man. There we go. 
I am slightly running low on energy ammo, so... Ooh, hello, level up. Yeah, energy weapons and explosives are ones I've been playing with. Lock picking, of course. I'll get it to 75 right now. Now, any of my skills, I only push to 80. Because once you get the comprehension skill, which will be my next level obtained... Where are y'all? There you are. Hello, Scorpion. You're dead. Anybody next? Where are you, buddy? Where'd you hide? Aww. You're so cute. Here, Toast. Alright, more Sunset Sarsaparilla. Num, 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 num. Is it an actual drink? I'm pretty sure it's named after an actual drink. And if so, if anybody's had it, is it actually any good? Is it a beverage or is it a uh, beer? Like me, myself, I just don't know. I'm not well-traveled, and right now, traveling is a little pointless. Bottle cap, Sunset Sarsaparilla Star Bottle Cap. Okay, then we got a gun cabinet. Thank you for the ammo. Ooh, energy cell ammo. Thank you so much. Microfusion cells. Yes, yes. I will gladly open the cash register. Vodka and Mayor Stern's journal. Something to read, if you want to read it. I've been playing too much Seven Days to Die. Every time I see, like, cram or something, I want to grab it. So yeah, throughout this, I will be finding the special weapons as I go along. I will be storing them, because I'm probably not going to use them. As to what I know I'm about to run into, I'm going to grab this, just quickly. It's a beautiful little piece of hardware. Which makes very short do of small rad scorpions. Good night. And just over this hill here should be a large rad scorpion. Well, you can see that one all the way the hell over there, so we know there's one out there. Thank you. Patience kills can be fun. That's what makes the incinerator just nice. You're able to actually... slowly kill an opponent. Oh, you're stuck in the ground, so I don't feel sorry for you. Free kills are nice. That one didn't get you. That one sure got you. Takes three shots at the incinerator to kill you. What the hell? Hi, little guy. You bit me, I bite back. Sunset Sarsaparilla and Matamitam. So over here is a campsite. Now I gotta be weary of that large ass rad scorpion. The giant one hasn't come out yet. 
I miss when they were like this and they didn't actually dig under the ground and pop up behind you. Good times, good times. Stay back. I see the blips. Oh, Fallout. Your glitches are great. Ah, New Vegas and its funny glitches. When I get up to that outpost up there, I'm probably going to sell the incinerator to the shop. Ah, a couple of large rad scorpions. Okay, hold on. No, 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 no. Why are you not going into the pit, boy? Okay, we are going to need some turbo. So many rad scorpions. Did I see you glitching out over here there, pal? I could not have asked for anything better. Oh, son of a... I asked. I asked. I couldn't have just... accepted it, could I? Stuck on a rock, don't get stuck on a rock. Perfect strategy. We'll kill him. Oh, we'll kill him. Um, ba -ba -da -ba. I never really used frag mines in the original Fallout games, and even in 3 in New Vegas, I never really used them aside from uh, to get the achievement in Fallout 3 to blow someone's pants off. Because that's a fantastic achievement. Hi. Wahoo. Um, you know what? You know what, actually? Let's waste the rest of this. Come on. So I can sell the 9mm submachine gun after. Really? You're that close to dead and you run out? Ah, oh, dag, dag, nab it, dag, nab it, dag, nab it. Bad scorpion. Whoops. I do look sexy, though. Alright, so that camp right there has been where I've been wanting to go. There are plenty of items there. It's a nice place to go. As you saw, the issue I had with rad scorpions, not that big of an issue if you are properly prepared. Tis fantastic. Thank, thank, thank you. Since that sounds pretty little wear off, time to wear some, drink some more. Wear some more? What the fuck am I thinking? Alright, so in here is the point that of interest. Wasteland Survival Guide. And then, of course, we got Toolbox, Empty Whiskey, an Empty Foot Locker, 
So really not much, but I came here primarily for the, uh... Huh. I primarily came here for that skill book. Now we're gonna head all the way over to the outpost up here, which is an NCR outpost. And that is where I'm actually going to end it off. We'll do the wheel in dealing. And I will accept a job while I'm there. Because, let's face it, Fallout and its many side quests. And next episode is where we will pick up with those side quests. So that is a rather neat statue. I'll explain it right now. It's when the Desert Rangers and the... NCR Rangers made a truce together, and that statue is what's supposed to symbolize that truce. Why the frame drop, computer? I love and hate you at the same time. Probably because I'm converting a video in the background. I converted a Seven Days to Die video, and it's still going in the background, so it's probably causing me a couple of frame drops. Hey man, you're needed for a quest later. You're just a duder. I'm gonna go to the shop first. I won't accept the quest, I'll just do that in the beginning of next episode, and there's even a quest up there too. I just wanna... barter. I don't know why I keep clicking to open a door. What the hell's wrong with me? I don't play a game that I click to open the door ever, so... Hi, honey. New face in the outpost. Must have come from the north. So... What do you have? What do you have to trade? Take a look. I intend to. All right, let's see here. 556 mil pistol GRA. I'd rather have the special one. Thank you very much, because the special one is sexy by comparison. Miscellaneous laser pistol combat sights. I can't remember if that's the one I actually have. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Do you have any energy ammo? I don't care if it's bulk. Well, you didn't have any bulk, so... Uh, energy cells. Not many. I'm disappointed, Tracy. Sell. 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 <laughs> I'll keep them for now. So, so. Not gonna use them. Uh, not gonna use it. Not gonna use it. Not gonna use it. Not gonna use any of those. I'm not gonna use the varmint rifle. And that is accepted. Fine then. <laughs> All right, so what did you already have on you? Look at that. So now we got iron sights as well as plus three damage. Oh, my baby. There's another thing in here. Um, uh, I'm just going to pop a save first so that I make sure I do this all proper like. Because I believe it's behind her bar. Yeah. Q? No, no, no. How do you... I need to see it. I need to see how to grab. Z. Z. I'm never going to remember um. that. Bam! I now have an explosives book. <laughs> I'm going to leave this one off here. I'm going to drop a save right now, now that I actually have that book. And... Well, next time we're going to be getting to level 6, I'll be able to utilize these books. 
And we're going to go kick some more ass and give Prim its new sheriff. But until next time, everybody, I'll see you later. Bye!